Okay, so here I have some um, aging strawberries and kiwi. Um, usually I probably would have frozen them and popped them in a smoothie or something like that um, before they got too old. But I didn't this time. And so since they're aging, they're super soft, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be adding this to the compost. So I'm going to chop them up real small and uh, be adding those to the compost. I won't be showing you uh, the chopping process. It's the same as how I chop up everything. I chop it as small as possible or as small as... Um, I can tolerate at the time and then um, I just kind of go from there but my baby is um, moving around so I'll be chopping this up later I'll be finishing washing up this movie with her and um, then we'll be adding this to the garden and um, yeah so the, that is how I make my compost I just add it as I go along um, this has been a day or two since I last showed you me adding uh, the apple peels and everything to the compost. Alright, and I'll give you a little quick image of how the compost is going uh, after this. Alright. Okay, growers, I'm now going to put the kiwi and the strawberry in there, as well as um, some grape vines, um, the stems of grapes. But I just want to show you this. Uh, if you can really tell, I know it looks just white, but that is really like some mildew casting over the last day or two, as well as the soil drying up a little bit. But this is what you want. You want it to start casting a little mildew um that is going to give the, it the bacteria that it needs to break down really good but the key thing is you want to keep it a little moist um not completely damp and moist up but just a little bit moist and um as it gets the mildew you don't want to let it sit there and rot out completely you want to turn it so as you can see i have my shovel here and um, I cut up these vines so they not they aren't dry enough to so just crumble up right now. Um, and I don't feel like letting them dry, so I'm gonna crumble them up by hand. But what you want to do, you want to take your shovel, and um, this is starting to pack together. So I'm glad I checked on it. But you want to take your shovel here, stir it, or if you don't have a little shovel that you can get from Dollar Tree or something, or Home Depot, the little gardening store. Um, you can take some plastic gloves or some gardening gloves and um, use your hands. Uh oh, use your hands and just mix it all up. Um, get it in there good, and you can turn it and mix it, and um, you can moisten it up a little bit more if you want, or you can let it dry out completely again and then moisten it up. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, this time around because um, it's just uh, my personal choice at the moment um, the way my situation is set up and I just had a baby I don't want to have too much mold in the house so what I'm going to do I'm just going to let it dry out completely and then I'll be sorry back camera person at the moment um, I'm concentrating more on looking at the actual what I'm doing and looking at the camera right now but anyways as I was saying um I'm going to give it a couple days to fully dry out because I don't want a lot of mildew and mold going around the house right now um seeing how we have a young baby so I'm going to just be turning this a lot in the next couple days while letting it dry out um as much as possible um even if it doesn't dry out completely just getting it as dry as possible with most of the soil looks back brown and dry. You know how it looks when you first get it. Um, so I'm going to be turning that. In a minute I'm going to be chopping up these um, grape stems or vines, whatever you want to call it. As well as the strawberries that I showed you before, that little bit of kiwi slices. Um, 
one then I'll just put a couple of clips, a couple of pictures in there later on. If you want to know what I did with the um, actual grapes, I'll show you here. So it's been about two days. But what I did was I had some milk that was going to be a spine. Yeah, that's the sign we want here. And um, with some of this stuff, you want to put a, a face mask. Um, because it does not smell nice. <laughs> um, like, um, I've, I'll be adding a clip in here about the compost that I made in the jar um, later on in this video and talking about that a little bit. And I actually added that jar to this compost. And um, <laughs> when you're doing the jar compost, it's a little bit for it. But you want it to smell like poop. You know what I'm saying? Um, you want your compost to stink. Um, that's how you know it's nice and rich and it's going right. At least to me, that's how I know. Um, I want it to stink. I want it to smell like I'm using manure. <laughs> so, um, with this, this is, I had a little bit of milk in there. Maybe, maybe about a cup or two of milk. And some really aged grapes. So, I just smushed the grapes up. Um, instead of chopping them in half and I threw them in there. And I closed it up for a couple of days. So, um, I want that to get really mushed down and acidic. And as you can see, it's starting to clump up. It's starting to get really where the uh, bottle is poofing up. That is fine as long as you remember to burp it. So, it won't explode. Um, but I'm just going to shake that up. It's probably going to be really acidic. So, I'm just going to burp it. Which is opening the lid, letting it get some air in between. Um stuff like this you want to check every at least two three days and make sure that you work it um as you can see it's getting clumpy that's how it's looking now i want to get those good juices before i add it to uh, compost and let it break down really good so that's what i'm doing with those grapes they were rotting already um, and the milk was going to go bad in probably another day or two, um, from the time that I did this. So, it would have been expired already by today. Um, so I'm just gonna put on me some gloves, and I'm gonna chop up these, uh, stems and add all of this stuff to here. And I'll show you the compost before I mix it up. Um, and... There we have it. We'll do it like that. All right, growers. So as you can see, I've put everything in there. This is our spoiled milk with our old grapes. These are our mushed up strawberries and kiwi. We have our cardboard. Everything is smushed up to its smallest capacity. And we're just gonna give it a good smush more. Um, don't be afraid to get you some gloves and really get in there. Really smush it up. Um, if you don't want to do this and you think it's gross or whatever, it's all fresh fruit or should be fresh enough. Um, so you shouldn't be too scared to get in your own compost unless you're putting like manure in it or something. Um... But you want to just squish it up because we want everything to a smallest size. So these grapes smush up pretty good and they age pretty quick because they're full of water. Um, so you really don't have to smush them and the strawberries up or a lot of the fruit up. Um, once you like split it up a little bit because they all age pretty fast and smush up pretty good but i'm just gonna like i said speed the process up um so i'm gonna smush them up really good before i mix them in and to y'all that is gonna add to the moisture of it gonna add to the water and that's why it mildew because depending on what you're using your compost um some of the foods and different stuff like that add in moisture and what's crazy it smells really delicious <laughs> it 
So is, uh, your combo is going to go from smelling really delicious to really stinky to really delicious to really stinky um, as you add up more stuff. So this is how it's looking. I'm smushing the cardboard in with the strawberries and the grapes. Uh, and I'm also bringing up some of that apple compost slowly but surely and it's actually really warm um and that's when you know you have a pretty good mixture of stuff in there and it's really warm and um usually I just get my hands really uh dirty I get my hands in there I get really get the hands and smush it all in um I'm gonna use the show here a little bit to kind of show you what's going on so I'm going to try to get some from the bottom or at least from the middle there and kind of just show you how it's coming along um you can really smell it smelling like dirt as everything breaks down of course you add your dirt to it um but once you really get this going, it should really make some really good dirt. You should start to smell it really good. Um, and the more progress, it should be moist, thick, deep, gushy soil. Um, rich in nutrients. And full of great vitamins. For your next... Um, batch of growing um, and when you harvest you can renew the soil with this great compost so I'm gonna put the camera down take these gloves and get really in there down to try to get down to the bottom and uh, mix it all up or I might just spread it out on my aluminum mix it all up and then put it back in this uh, back in this little felt bag here um i love the felt bags because if you have too much moisture too much water it will um let some of it out being that it's fabric you can see our this is our um cardboard from the other day so this is not what we just added this is from a couple days ago this is a piece from what we just added but that was from a couple days ago and those pieces are really getting moist and really coming along um, and so stay tuned we have a video coming up next uh, that I'm going to be putting up here that is going to be showing you guys the uh, gorilla milk seeds that I have planted and how they're going in the last couple of days since I've put them in the dirt. Um, we will stay tuned because I need more dirt um, and I also need more, uh, I mean I need more soil and I also need more room in a bigger setup, uh, which I don't have right now. I'm, I'm using my winter setup. It was kind of crowded being that we just got a new baby. So, I um, probably won't make too too big of a setup for the winter time. I won't be gardening much, too much this winter. I might do more in the spring once the ice breaks down so I can do it outside. But, um, I am going to be showing you guys the process of how I replant those and what I replant them in. See, this is our banana uh, the top of the banana there the fibers are really breaking down but these are tough fibers they take a long time to break down they're real strong they're not even soft and mushy kind of like these are what these are going to do once they break down and come apart they're going to act as uh, holders in the roots so um they're going to act as how roots grasp on the things that's what they're going to do. So these fibers is, is going to help the roots and the seeds and whatever you plant in it. Hold on and watch on 
quicker as it starts to grow. You'll think that it's latching onto another root or stem and it will grow. Um, it would extend its stuff itself to that depending on the plant. All right, so we're out growers. Thank you for joining. Um, and this is our compost. Peace. Till next time. Don't forget to check out our next video. Um, should be coming up somewhere on our Gorilla Milk Seeds. Alright, bye-bye.